The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. This produces an altering and transforming effect. So, so is the effect of evil conduct and erroneous teaching. So when you see that an action or inaction could have a negative effect on an organization, on a family, yourself or the future, and you have the power to stop it, please stop it. Evil is more contagious than good. Just as disease is more efficacious than health. Sometimes we have to say no to a benefactor. You are a kindly helper. You should be able to say no. Sometimes you have to say no to a superior. Because you need to fear God. Sometimes you need to say no to a friend. Because you need to fear God. When your right hand will cause you not to enter into heaven, cut it. Even children are supposed to obey their parents in the law. You need to say no to every ungodliness no matter where it comes from. So draw the lines of resistance. Set the boundaries very, very clear. Billy Graham said, Be attractive and winsome, but do not compromise your convictions for the sake of popularity unquote. you should not say i will never offend anyone because sometimes the consequence could be very dire so we are praying that god to help us so that we we'll have the muscles to stop any evil that is perpetrating in and around us it is impossible that offensive should not come so never say no one will ever offend me no i will never offend anyone today my topic is be attractive and winsome but so Billy Graham said, be attractive and winsome, but do not compromise your convictions for the sake of propriety. Billy Graham has some more kindness. But more than that, when you nika, many people have said, "Nanso, we are now nipa na jumpon, a jumpa awono, one two engu se nebe ya dom ebe baje oso." But I want to say, "Ya make any that be attractive and winsome." But more than that, when you nika, fe 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 kama pa. But it is not enough to insulate you from offence. Nanso we no into me mo ho bai se onfum ubi or from offending people. Into me. There will be winsome. Be attractive. But remember that it is not enough to insulate you from offense. Or from 
offending someone. Na umfum ubi anase wunye ubi umfum so. So be winsome. Ma wunye nika. Be sweetly and innocently charming. Be winsomely engaging. Now wear your smiles. Be attractive as you you possibly can. See, but remember. It is impossible that no offenses should come. So means, something will happen that you will not be pleased with. Something will cause a transgression or a wrong. That which offends or causes displeasure is inevitable. Now, do your best to be as wise as the serpent, now, as innocent as the dove in your dealings. Because when I say set the record straight, I'm not saying that you should intentionally put a stumbling block on another person's way. No. So you don't have to deliberately set a trap for someone. No. Do not intentionally be a hindrance to someone's progress. No. Don't mount blocks against someone's success don't be unnecessarily judgmental no no not second corinthians 6 verse 3 and 4 second corinthians 6 three and four we put no stumbling block in anyone's path so that our ministry will not be discredited rather as servants of god we commend ourselves in every way in great endurance in troubles hardships and distresses. So Let me take the verse three again. We put no stumbling block in anyone's path so that our ministry would not be discredited. Now in Chapter 6 of 2 Corinthians. Now, when you come to verse 3, Paul switches from the message concerning his preaching to his own behavior as a minister of the gospel. See, he realized that there are people who are always looking for an excuse not to listen to the gospel message. If they can find this excuse in someone's inconsistent lifestyle, so then it is much better for them. So with minya sa akwenya anasa nuye e free ubiya braba and shadam fa kwen mu pe na chese wedibim. So here Paul reminds the Corinthians and dia hey na suma for Paul or kai Corinthi for no that he gave them no offense. From one and as one Febribia and yes, into Yama, anything that the ministry might be blamed. Now he carried himself in a manner worthy of the calling he had received. Now he tried to live above reproach. So, and by so doing, he did not put any stumbling block on anyone's way. Romans 14, 13. Romans 14, 13. Romans 14, verse 13. Therefore, 
Let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. Enti mumma ye muye muye mu atembiu. Ne mum aten yi mum se ubi emfa kwensidia ana sintidia bi en tuwa em maninuya. Now verse fourteen. Yeah, twasu ny mu duna noa. This is Paul. He says, I am convinced, being fully persuaded in the Lord Jesus, that nothing is unclean in itself. But if anyone regards something as unclean, then for that person it is unclean. Minim na mi jimi di eradi yesu muse bribiara ankasa en ye fi na di ubu bribi fino or no ara en ye fi emanu. See Paul says that he is convinced and fully persuaded that there is nothing unclean. So my Paul to a didi no jitum pa se bribiara ni wa ye fi. Nothing unclean in itself. Bribiara en no ankasa ni muno en ye fi. But if someone has a weak faith. And the person feels that there are certain things that are still unclean. It's up to the fellow. But because of that person, he will live such that he doesn't put a stumbling block on the path of this weak brother. Now, when it comes to stumbling blocks, Please be innocent in this matter. Be attractive. Now be winsome. But it is not enough to insulate you from offending someone. Do your best. Not to put any stumbling block in anyone's way. But know that. You do not have control on how the other person at the receiving end will always react. Now, so I say, Unim said the Nipana or what the Oyano and Afana or Shano, Nyawayan will be to me who no Afa. I'll give you two reasons why. Memo in your soul, you know, ah, Mitressa. Two reasons why. The first one is that life is quite complicated. Nya Edi Kine said, Abrabowi. And we do not always have control over it. The second reason is this. Because of the falling world and its corrupt stretches which breeds evil and causes suffering and offenses. So I'll take the first one and open it up a bit. That life is quite complicated. And we do not always have control over it. We do not always get what we expected. Even what you work very hard for and it is deservedly yours, you could still be robbed of it. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3. This is the teacher, Solomon. We for Solomon. Now, I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not for the swift or the battle for the strong. Nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned but time and chance happen to them all okay it include you do back on what you say me send me who knew we are say say and yet i want harry for the enemy to now and yet and no matter my dear and or call now and yet and answer for the any journey now and yet no move for the any a winner now and yet new before the any and you know now a break me a sunny and a two one you know the race it's not always won by the swift. And the strong do not always win the battle. Sometimes. Sometimes. Just sometimes. Just by the slip of the baton. 
and the race is lost. And no one to me, a man could never know a year and I feel be in a football match or in soccer. Say, yeah, but say, yeah, the agro, yeah, football, agro. A defender with a clear intent gives the goalkeeper a back pass. Obia, why dream pa, or share a ball. Eh, eh, ni post no mo buy ewo e chile wano o to me e bo bo alo no e de ma de o da goat ni mo e ye o no angasa ni ni pa no the keeper misreads it na go keeper yi se we unhu di e e ba ni yia and it results in an ongo sa di e ya pass ya mano no e to me se o no ah then the keeper becomes very acrimonious and you see, sometimes you do not just have control. A to be a way no to me the yaw be bri a bag will keep no aside and answer on one inch. Now only a dear to me be bri because no coach will teach his players how to score your own self. It's an senior or chile on my air bob ball no on chile on senior will be to me as a one who but you see life is very complicated. Now so she a brabo in one home it takes sometimes you don't have control over it. A to be a only suit to me even though you are not taught to score your own self. you Sometimes you still manage to score. You know, a and go. When Chiro said, "I want to say we bob ball," I be sure now. So a today be a bob money. I be sure. Think that is better. <laughs> Moreover. Verse 12, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 12. If you hear to us, you will not do me no one. Moreover, no one knows when their hour will come. As fish are caught in a cool net, or birds are taken in a snare, so people are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly on them. And so, nipe nim nebre. Sa empata we you won as a bonimu na and no man so we you won fidio mono sara and a we ye nipa emma ebri bonia a two won em pufrimu no mu. This is life, brothers. I don't know say na brabotio. Sometimes we are trapped by evil times. Put the bia that falls unexpectedly on us and that may cause offense may the lord have mercy may the lord have mercy when such things happen people tend to ask where was god we don't always have control over circumstances. Now the second point. This falling world. And its corrupt social structures. Breed evil. And suffering. And causes offenses. Now it breeds evil. It causes suffering. Now and it causes offense. There is no justice on the land. Righteousness has become a very scarce commodity. If you live in the midst of such a world, you cannot say. No one will offend you. So what we are saying, it's saying, I want to make that. So be and for me. So in this life, there are categories of evil. And the we are saying, no, born in a bit of the beach. And there are depths of degrees of wickedness caused by human beings. Now it is modern and nipa and so you pay no. A woman can see any woman get to. Now, for example, we have physical evil. I don't know if you were born in an ascent, the bonnier is here. It to me, dear, new like natural disasters. She said, At the end of my it to me, SC as I see so accidents. When she are good, and then when these things happen, the normal tetis are no is here, like pestilences like COVID. The sense I are yes, COVID 19 by year. Now you don't have control. We know who needs to to me, and then people ask, and you probably be say, Where was God? Now, no, we now go on away. Number two, moral and personal evil. Now in this life, we have moral and personal evil. The wickedness of mankind. Like 
am robbers. Ti se won a wo kure tuo e de bokro no. Ritual murders. Ye kum nipa e de e ye nyankomade. Children killing children for money. Mo fra wo kum won kasa wo nua no mo fra e de peska. Na as we are about to go to bed. Hwe bra ye ko akoda yi. There are some wicked young men who will be going to work. Nipa boni fo bi nso e fei an o madwuma sori. They've collected money. And they tell themselves that this night we will kill. Now these are not witches. They are not wizards. It's the wickedness of mankind. And then we live on this planet with these people. So you cannot say. No one will offend me. Or I will not offend anyone. So Social evil. Nia ekoso ewo yempote ma ye ni boni. Social evil. Sa adi ye nuso. Our social structure that incarnates sin. And no ma e what ya bra boi mu anasi ye ni ye mu a e di boni e ba yempote. Na bribery and corruption. Oshie ademudi eji eni katasi. Na greed. E ni bre. Sometimes a document that belongs to you, you have to pay some money to somebody. Before you can collect your own document. Then be a crater be a ye wow de as a so disika and mobi and sana on sa can sacrata. This is evil caused by the social structures. We a ye ni bonia, ye yipie, senia, yankasa, yem memu anase a deete a was as he's number four. A fee mummy and shed your tosso nine way. Spiritual evil. The oppression of the demonic. We a ye so so money a de now this is real. Money a de we know the Bible talks about Satan and his works. Joseph Ekasa Efa Obunsam and in the name that Jesus cast demons from human beings. Yes, to two and one money every nipper. So by and like we are living with people who have demons in them. And two shen ye are quite be as soon nipper and one ten a bin more one money a woomu. It is their food we buy. Now we go to church with them. We have them at the marketplace. Some are in suit in the corporate world. Oh, she said, I So scripture says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. And the average human being cannot stand the oppression. These are described as spiritual wickedness in the heavenly realms. Spiritually spiritual wicked guys. In the spirit realm. Now this becomes worse when the activities of people living in a particular period are steeped in evil to and corruption. Now we know a ma a yeah a a door so be break crama a bury and so bra nipa ah what but you go baby no wadi any na a ya bonny. Now when you live in such an environment, you cannot say no one will offend me. Okay, I don't know what is a nipa y emwa won't mean can't die so be and for more. And this is the falling world. Away a yeah we are sia a shias which breeds evil. A bribia mono a wo bonny and in the bonny. Now Isaiah fifty nine verse twelve. Yeah, u di for Isaiah Homano a ti a do no for our offenses are many in your sight plenty and our sins testify against us our offenses are ever with us and we acknowledge our iniquities now the next verse says this rebellion and treachery against the lord turning our backs on our god inciting revolt and oppression uttering lies our heart have conceived now mm -hmm. but verse 14 is a big one 14 and 15 so justice is driven back 
and righteousness stands at a distance. Truth has stumbled in the street. Honesty cannot enter. Now, what done a Timu any Natrini a cojina a chichi 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 na no cre a shiasi a gum na de a tin and to me a mem. Now, look at the picture. I feel she's unfunny. Now, justice is driven back. And righteousness stands at a distance. Truth has stumbled in the streets. Honesty cannot enter. Now, what this is the world that we are living in? If we are saying a timuno, say, and I tear, now what done a timu any, now train a cojina, a chitri, now no cre, a shiasi, a gum, now the etinino, and to me a mem. Now, and then listen to this one. A fiti, the truth is nowhere to be found. And whoever shuns evil becomes a prey. At the workplace, when you shun evil, people will attack you. They want you to be part of them. Otherwise, you suffer persecution. The understanding that in life, offenses are bound to happen in itself is a safeguard. Against contracting a bitter spirit. So yeah, it is yes, eh, wa braboy muno, and no ma ebe for me, and I bet you in Sintidiano, and no kwa boyang ni nya yao de o ye hum. So this is the world that we live in that I've described. The way we are see your timuno and much rem the atro. See there are issues everywhere. Okay, said the mechan in Fonino and some wobe bibiao troubles in the family. Or how ewo a museum. Troubles among siblings. Yeah. Now issues at home. Now issues in the family. Issues at the workplace. Issues everywhere. Now issues even in the church. Even in the church. Even in the church. So you cannot say, as for me. No one will offend me. I will never offend anyone. I pray that God will grant you great understanding of this message. That you open your eyes, your ears, and your heart. To live such that you do not cause a stumbling block in anyone's way. Now what Bobra said unto be Sintidria and I won't say that and for a boy and to tongue profile. Now do your best to be attractive. Yeah, you obey to me be as any part any bad job. But I'm saying that have in your mind that you cannot satisfy all the people all the time. I'm a winum yina echino and now I don't even say won't mean so ni pen yina any a bring yina. So may the Lord help us. And you radim why may he grant us grace. Oh my young doom so that if Jesus in our boat, we'll be able to navigate through this world. And beya. still keep our Jesus and our good heart. Amen. Beya. Yesu, owe ye mbon to me. Ye be to me ananti obrasari yusua. Ye be to me akura ya kuma pano ni ya so unyanko pongi.